In today's video, we hear from over 10 truck camper vendors from Overland Expo West. Hi, I'm Kelsey with Supertramp Campers. We're here at Overland West at 2023. Really excited to talk to you about this collaboration build. So we've got our Elevation off-grid truck on the Ram 4500, Bowen Customs bed, and then our flagship LT Supertramp Campers. So here, when you're taking a look at the camper, realize this camper fits in any six and a half foot bed. Uh, and when we're taking a look at it, you'll notice it has this beautiful green color. This is a 3M wrap, and we also offer four different paint colors now. Here at the back, we've got a five gallon gray water tank for our inside shower, and then an exit hose for our five gallon gray water tank for the sink. Molly panel here with a 50 pound rate, weight rating, so you can attach any type of recovery gear. Outdoor rigid light here. And then big fun thing here, is your pull-out drawer for all your gear. Realize we're on 42s here, so this is typically at waist height. We've got our Arctic turn window with the integrated screen and shade. Keyless entry RV lock, and then two 11-pound propane tanks on a pull-out drawer. So one can stay hooked up to the kitchen, and then you can use one for outdoor cooking or just always have a spare. Our big differentiator is the linear actuators that raise the camper up and down in 10 seconds. We've got our proprietary tie-down system here that really simplifies taking on and off the camper with our two fast guns here in the rear. And then we've got our electrical running from the truck battery to the camper. Typically this is a trolling motor connection, but with this rig, a little different. When we take a look at the side, really showing off the Bowen Customs flatbed. Uh, we really think it's the perfect match for our camper if you're looking to store skis, additional gear. 23-0 awning, 24-gallon freshwater infill, shore power plug-in, Truma Combi Plus plug-in, and then your Truma exhaust. You can really see all the options for your storage with the Bowen Customs bed. He's got a five-foot garage on this one. Typical size is an 18-inch. And then we've got our shower enclosure here. So we're here inside, six foot nine standing height. Big thing is the 360-degree view. Queen-size bed with 32 inches of headroom. Underbed storage for all your clothes and gear. This unit has an AC, so the Dometic RTX 2000. Nice integrated LED units. Storage under each one of these. So this one's about 50 by 21 by 10 inches. This one's got the bunk bed. Flip it up into place. And then we've got two poles that you put in. Storage under here. So this one with the AC unit has 400 amp hours of lithium. Two batteries are tucked in here, two batteries in here. Here are those poles you were talking about for the bunk bed. We've got our zippered mesh, zippered clear vinyl, and our zippered insulated shade. Then in here is the loo. So you've got your portable cassette toilet. You can take that out, hook in our shower curtain, and take an inside shower. Over here, we've got a pull-out cutlery drawer, two burner stove, 14-inch sink. And then here are all of our electronic components. So we've got the Truma Combi heater, runs off propane, I uh, really love this unit because it's quiet. We've got one duct here, one duct over here, and then one by the feet. So this runs underneath here and points directly at your 24 gallon freshwater tank. Um, we've had customers camping down to negative 18 comfortably now. 200 amp hours of Battleborn batteries here. All of our electronic components, uh, primarily Victron. Then we've got a 65 liter isotherm fridge, pretty packed right now. Then when you're ready to lower the camper, you simply slide this over and lower it down. So with just a press of the button, the electric linear actuators allow it to lower down. The beautiful thing about our camper is I can still sit in here. I'm five foot nine. We've got a nice infinity woven uh, rug and then you can take that out and you've got a composite floor underneath, power wash it to easily clean it. Fully composite and then aluminum lids. Thanks so much for checking us out. I'm Kelsey with Supertramp Campers. Our website is www.supertrampcampers.com and you can email us at info at supertrampcampers.com or give us a call at 720-724-5788. Thanks so much. Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Lone Peak. Uh, we're here at the Moore Expo and we're showing off our new Lone Peak camper. If you guys aren't new to this thing, it's basically a wedge camper. Comes standard with a ton of different features. So we have locking side access doors that open with a single handle. There's dual weather stripping everywhere to keep the elements out. Some of the standard features are a four inch mattress that I'll show you in a second. One of the 
really cool things about this is that we have a bunch of pass-through space. So most wedge campers, the bed, you have to push out of the way or remove panels. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So we actually have 30 inches of space at the end of the camper so you can stand up in and get out of the elements. And then you can actually push the bed out of the way to get even more room. So I'll show you that in just a second. Let me show you a couple different accessories we have for this thing. We have these things called gear vaults that are optional accessories. There's even a table that drops down from the backside so you can prep food if you're inside of the camper. This is an accessory called juice box. And it's basically a lighting controller that turns on light bars inside of the tent and also a tailgate light. So we have a lot of different lighting accessories for this. Go ahead and follow me inside if you can. Another accessory is the bed ladder. So it makes it really easy to get up inside of the bed, but the bed pushes out of the way on gas struts. So if the weather is bad, like yesterday it was here, it was dumping, you can stay out of the elements inside of the camper. So we're making these for a ton of different mid-size and full-size trucks. Go check out the website, lonepeakoverland.com. Retailing for six grand, uh, 11 different accessories you can add. Uh, we have a show special going on right now. So go to the website, fill out our contact form, and you'll actually get the same, same show special giving you a free accessory. Hey, how are you? My name is Orlando Mastretta. I'm the owner and co-founder of Bear Adventure Vehicles. Uh, we're super excited to share some of our work with you. We've been working really hard on a couple production, uh, production ready floor plans. Uh, I've kind of start with the outside of our shell. We have a external hatch that helps a portable AC. We have a forced air heating, diesel heater. We're using a roto packs uh, to supply that. It's on a quick release. So you can also use that to fill your truck. External propane system that supplies our stove. Coming into the camper, we have a mudroom entry with a bamboo system. This is a wet well that can be fitted with a drain. Uh, so you can shower off in here, you can throw your snow gear in here, you can stomp your snow boots off, and all that can drain out. Coming into the camper, we are a Total Composites vendor for the Southwest region. Great benefit of the Total Composite system is the super insulated wall system and uh, proprietary extrusion system. So there's no thermal transfer in these campers. Uh, it, right now it's hot, sun's beating on this, and it's very cool in here. Uh, so that's a great foundation for our system and we can supply the shell empty so the design it yourself customer can upfit um, or we can upfit to any level inside and so this is kind of our first production weekender model we have a 75 liter dometic dual zone fridge we put in this we have a dakota lithium 280 amp battery so i have a 2000 watt inverter we have dc to dc charging from the truck alternator i have 200 watts of solar um, and solar MPPT chargers. Uh, this is fitted with a Dometic Go, kind of a simple quick release water system. We use a full size kitchen bar sink so you can have a very functional washing station. I have a quick release propane system for a, either the stove can come inside or outside. And we really try to fit as much systems in here very thoughtfully planned out. So I have a portable AC that can live stationary because I have an outside hatch that you can just hook up the ducts to so you don't actually have to move this and you can run it in place. And underneath there's an option for a uh, small Dometic toilet or this is a Torino compostable separating toilet. Um, or you can just throw some snow boots in there and let them dry off into the wet well. Lots of storage. We have a big storage compartment under here, uh, 22 inches deep, um, goes past the false floor here. Um, there's also a bed system that will deploy and this whole lower area will turn into a bed. Um, so you can fit a, an adult and a kid very comfortably or a couple of kids very comfortably. The upper bed pulls out into a king. So you can have the king bed deployed. You can also have the queen bed deployed at the same time. Um, very comfortable, four inch mattress, all uh, sprung birch slats, lots of airflow underneath. Um, so it's a very, very comfortable environment. Um, this we have dual coat hanging closet, so there's tons of upper storage. We have an alcove that fits an espresso machine as an option. Underfloor storage hatches. This unit's weighing in about 1,450 pounds. We're pretty happy with how it came out. Thank you so much for coming and taking a look. You can find us at bearvehicles.com. Uh, we'd love to take your call and talk to you about uh, your upcoming camper projects. Thanks so much. My name is Jay Wellman. We build camper shells and we are in Flagstaff, Arizona where we build these camper shells. They are all aluminum and composite with some wood accents. The idea is the lightest, most functional space we could build on any kind of truck minus 
you know, the Chevy Avalanche, any of that obscure stuff. But the idea is working with customers to put windows, hatches, you know, any kind of accessory that they want onto their camper for their end use of camping, whether it's at a KOA or off-road or just in a Walmart parking lot, uh, whatever use they want. So the mid sizes start at about 270-ish pounds. And so that comes to that lightweight, doesn't hit the payload too much, and then has a full queen slide out. So any camper has a full queen slide out, whereas the full size trucks have nearly a king size slide out, eight inches wider than a queen. Um, and then you could put bedding up there. And the whole idea back to that functional space is we see a lot of people building really tight cab overs, whereas on ours, we're able to work with the customer to extend dimensions and make things taller. So for taller people or people who want to leave their bedding in there, uh, they can do just that. So working with the customer, building a functional space that then really is just kind of a canvas for them to change. So we get a lot of people that have done benches, seats, anything that they want to make their space useful for them. They can add insulation um, and it just comes as a blank shell. So if you want to add insulation, add a wall, add a shelf, add a bench, um, you can do that. Some of our popular options are barn door halves, which allow you to be able to stand on the tailgate and then get in extra bedding height, hatches for access to the side, flip down hatches that can be used as a counter. We get awning channel, people want awning channel, people want random things mounted on the side. So the idea is just, again, working with customers to figure out exactly what they want, how they want to use their space, and then, you know, letting them do what they want with their end product. Uh, currently our lead times are about five months for fast four months. So our website, for Overland Campers is Camp O-V-R-L-N-D. In hindsight, shouldn't have named that because no one can spell it right. And our phone number is 928-433-2030 and we're in Flagstaff. So if you're at the show or we're at the show or at the show next year, we are open Monday through Thursday. Stop by the shop and see everything we make. Hey, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm with Topo Toppers. And today I'm gonna show you around our Mesa camper shell. The Mesa is our wedge style camper shell. It's constructed fully out of one inch, one eighth inch aluminum all around, stainless steel hardware. It comes in weighing at only 230 pounds base weight. We have a number of options available for windows. These cargo side access doors that we make in house. We also feature a number of window options on your camper shell as well. A uh, little bit about the uh, dimensions of the camper shell. You have a six foot, eight inch sleeping platform. That's the length and the width on a full size truck such as the Tundra is 52 inches. It tapers down to 50 inches. We have two sliding bed panels. You could slide them back and create kind of a bench situation inside the camper shell. You can also remove those so you can stand up and utilize the full interior of your truck bed. The canvas is a Weathermax 80 marine grade uh, tent canvas. The roof is a single sheet of formed aluminum. We also offer L-Track options for bike racks and whatnot or side uh, gear storage. We offer a lighting package inside as well. Everything is designed, fabricated, and assembled out of our shop in Ventura, California. Uh, you get a two-year warranty on the camper shell. You get a 10-year warranty on the tent canvas. And then we follow the manufacturer's warranty. We use Turn Overland Windows. Um, for our window options, so you follow the manufacturer's warranty on those. Set up to deploy the tent and to break it down takes about 15 to 20 seconds. So it's a single movement on the front and uh, that's it. So this is our Mesa camper shell. We're really excited about it. So check us out at topotoppers.com or topotoppers on Instagram. Hey guys, Jason Bontrager with Skinny Guy Campers. We're in uh, Overland Expo West and we're hanging out with Tav and Method Wheels here at the, uh, at the, at the Expo. All right guys, here we have the model 6.5 Skinny Guy Camper. Our product is uh, completely made of aluminum and stainless steel, 1 8 inch aluminum, and uh, the bed platform and everything is all made that way. And the reason we use aluminum and stainless is because there's so many element, there's so many environments in the world where you, there's corrosion that occurs, salt water, and, and we never know where our customers are going to take the product, so we wanted to design the product that way. 
Uh, the Model 6.5 is one of seven models that we've, we've created. Model 4.5 all the way up to Model 8.0. We've designed a camper for every single bed length that's out there. This one is a 6.5, which means it's a six and a half foot model. It fits anything with a six and a half foot bed. All right, we're in the Model 6.5 um, here at Overland Expo West. And again, I just want to walk around on the inside real quick. It's not a lot of room to walk, but we did try to build as much space inside as possible. So one of the one of our best features, and you're not going to find this really in most truck bed toppers. We have a toilet built inside of our camper. This is called the Primo Lou. The toilet here is a permanently installed uh, toilet with a black tank below. Uh, this model has roughly 20 gallons of black. And then we also have a macerator, which a macerator, if you think of, um, if you don't know what that is, think of a garbage disposal for your 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 sanitary system. So kind of gross, but it's really nice in that you can exhaust the black tank through a, a, a normal garden hose. Also inside here, you get all kinds of storage, blankets, clothes, pillows. There's also this compartment here, which has our optional water filtration system. Another feature that we have inside is the tabletop. It's a great way to sit down with your loved one or your kids and eat lunch or whatever you'd like. So when the camper folds open, <clears throat> the mattress is has buckles that hold it in place so the mattress never has to come out. Our current standard mattress is foam, but there's optional inflatable mattresses out there. This one is already set up to be slept in. It touches like this, this marine mat that we have. It's a great way to give you a nice soft surface on the inside. Uh, we also have a drain in the floor. We've designed this in such a way that you could take a shower inside. And then you also have interior lighting. You have a light at the top. We also have base lights, base cabinet lights. These are all touch activated and they're dimmable as well. We also have a water pump built in. So our top two trim levels both have the basement. That's where all of our tanks live. That's where our water tanks live, our fresh water tanks, our black tanks live if you get the Primo Lou. That's also where our water pump is located <clears throat> and where our macerator is located. This switch here activates the water pump and that'll pump the water from your fresh tank up to the sink and also to your shower point and to your toilet. We also offer the Truma Combi heater and water heater. The propane tank um, that we have, a 20, 20 pound propane tank, you can last anywhere from three days um, up to about six days. Just depends on how much gas is used as you're uh, camping. We also have a refrigerator that we build into the product. So when, the, when everything collapses down, that sets right here in the doorway area. And then the cooktop and sink comes down below. You gotta unhook all the, the water um, and the gas fittings and the electric sensor for the Truma. But once you get that all unhooked, that all sets here. But when you're at camp, all that lifts up and then fastens to the front. Going back to the Truma, so once the cooktop comes down, and you're on the road, there's no way that the Truma can run and, and ignite the Truma or anything like that. So that's a safety feature that we built in. Over here, we have a small pantry. We also have some nice little storage pockets and you get ample storage up here. The nice thing about that cabinet is you have the door on the outside. So um, I just open that outside door and start putting my groceries in there. Uh, we have an internal USB charging port there. It also has a uh, readout of the battery voltage. On the inside of that storage compartment is where we have a battery uh, location. So all the fuses are located in there, the breakers. Um, on the outside here as well is the Red Arc Manager 30 control. So here you can see how much battery power you have, the percentage, whether the solar panel is charging or not. The cool thing about our 190 watt solar panel and the way that we've designed the roof and the camper, you get charged as you're going down the road. <clears throat> and then once you open the camper roof, the solar panel actually flips out again. So you get charged as you're at camp. So whether you're at camp or in travel mode, it'll, um, you'll get charged. On the opposite side, we do have a 110 volt port that um, you can plug in your camper when you're at home or somewhere else if you need charge or to a generator and you can uh, you can charge your system that way too. The sleep structure, these bows are made of stainless steel. We went with, we went with stainless because we wanted a corrosion resistant, very strong material that would withstand heavy winds. So we've been out as high of as 60 mile per hour winds in this and we've not had any issues. The cables on the sides are assist cables. So as the roof is lifted, the cables actually extend with the roof. So as you open the roof, the tent and everything goes with it. The ladder that is at the entryway, it's a nice angle. So you get a nice flat wide surface angle to, to stand on. We always get the question about air conditioning. Um, we don't have an air conditioner. Uh, Zero Breeze does make a nice air conditioner that could be used in a camper like ours. We've got windows and uh, screens, keep the bugs out. That's great for me. I get a lot of 
nice air movement uh, as a result of putting the windows down. Obviously, if you're gonna leave camp, keep your, your, your windows closed just in case it rains like a couple days ago. The tent itself, the tent is made from the material called Aqualon. It's water resistant. Um, you do get a little bit of condensation and that's in general what you're gonna, you, what you're gonna have with uh, any soft-sided camper. Um, so it keeps the water out. It's highly durable. It's one of those materials where you poke a hole through, you can't rip it any further. So it's not gonna, not gonna tear easily at all. It's spacious, it's aerodynamic when you're going down the road. It sits right at or slightly above the cab of the truck that we, that we designed these for. And um, it's just a pleasure to use. So it's always with you if you want it. You can leave it at home. We're working on a, a more shelled out version of it, which will allow customers to have more gear uh, to be stored inside. But yeah, we're really excited about what we're doing. Our website is uh, skinnyguycampers.com. We're also on Instagram, <coughs> Facebook, and uh, we're on YouTube as well. So yeah, thanks for your time. Hi, I'm Brian Wheat with Alaskan Campers. We're in Flagstaff at the Expo Show. And we've got an eight foot cab over here. We're solid wall pop-up. Cab over doors fold in, and then the top comes down about 22 inches for aerodynamics, safety, and gas mileage. And you're all solid walls, so warmer in the winter, no noise from the soft sides. We make about five different sizes, six and a half, seven, eight, eight and a half, and 10. And then we also make non-cab over models. And by raising and lowering with the pop-up, we get a full height door where a lot of the soft sides are a shorter door, which is fine, but you gotta crawl up and in them. This gives us a full height RV door. Uh, we have a cassette toilet, which exits here. A uh, 20 gallon horizontal propane tank, water fitting, optional water heater, and then an out exterior shower. Basically, we do a front dinette models. These will flop down into a bed for a second bed besides the cab over. Um, 27 gallons of water, storage underneath here, storage under each seat. Uh, we can go up to a three and a half cubic foot Novacool fridge. Uh, storage all around. We put a door or drawer wherever we can get storage. And these are all high pressure laminate cabinets, solid wood doors. We always like to do that. Single sink, uh, cooktops. You can get an oven if you like. And then the toilet is a nice little cassette in here. Tucks away nicely. And then fuse panels, solar controller, battery meter. Uh, table stores up here on the ceiling, up out of the way if you don't want it here. The, the table just comes down here and goes in this bracket. Uh, Pass-through window to the cab. And then this is our bigger bed. This is 54 by 81, so 6 foot 9 up there. And then these, these doors will just fold down, then the front folds down. Then we hit an electric push button. It'll raise up when we pull these safety pins out. And then just flip a letter and just gravity brings down within 30 seconds. Try to use all high quality stuff. We use dual density foam with these actually have springs on them. So there's not a comfortable or couch in this whole expo guaranteed. Uh, any questions, you can call us at Alaskan Campers, 360-748-6494 or on the web, www.alaskancamper.com and emails alaskan at alaskancamper.com. Uh, thanks. Hi, I'm Todd Maurer from TC Teardraps. We're from uh, Wasso, Wisconsin, and we're here at uh, Overland X about 23. So today we're debuting our uh, TC uh, Teardrops Camper. So the TC Camper build is uh, all composite aluminum, separate from uh, our trailer builds, which are our wooden aluminum. We have it wrapped in topo maps, a uh, couple different choices. We kept it super light. It's uh, 600 pounds, less than 600 pounds, and it is also nice and tucked in narrow, fits in the truck bed, and it also sits on a deck system. So you need some kind of a platform to set it on. We've got the OVS 180 on it for some shade and weather protection. We've got the traction mats. we got water, propane up on the top here, another storage cabinet, also our on-demand hot water heater system. And then our OVS uh, shower room is over on this side, so we can put the porta potty in here at nighttime, which makes it really nice so if both of us are traveling with the dog, uh, my wife and I. From here, we. Uh, Use our deck system as our galley, so a lot like the tier, our teardrops that we've been building for 16 years, we're using that as our galley, so all of our food, storage, everything, stove is in there. On the inside, we can carry, do 12 volt fridges, ice chest, porta potty in here. We got a single bed in it, or you can slide the bed out for on linear rails and put the other mattress on. We'll flip it over and put the other mattress on it. And now we have a nice, almost a queen size bed in here. My wife and I spent, just spent 18 days and uh, never get a hotel. We have our own showers, everything in here, so. So 
Go to our website for more information. We just uh, put this on our website, so it's tcteardrops.com. And uh, all of our pricing is on there. And uh, if you have any information or any, uh, need any questions or anything, you can always contact me personally. So thank you very much. Hi there, I'm Gary Conley from Lance Camper Manufacturing, and I'm here to show you our lovely truck campers on an F-350 Crew Cab Dually. So first of all, why a truck camper? The best thing about a truck camper is that it can separate from the actual vehicle. So therefore you have the versatility to drop your camper, have basically a base camp and be able to still explore, especially with a four wheel drive diesel. The other thing about a truck camper is there's no licensure on a truck camper. So if you're considering a class B motorhome and things like that, the cost of ownership is a lot less for a truck camper. You don't have to have additional insurance either because normally the insurance is covered by your truck insurance with because you're just basically hauling the truck camper. It's an easy removal process. So you can see here these are torque lift fast guns. Basically pull a pin, take it off, lower your jacks with a remote control, and basically you're off and running. The other thing that basically happens with this is that if you do set this up as a base camp, um, all your propane tanks, things like that are removable so they can be filled and uh, refilled by just going out and exchanging tanks and whatnot going forward. So anyways, this here's our Lance Campers and why don't we go inside and take a look at what we have. So again, we're here at the Overland Expo and you can see we got a little dirt. We had a little bit of rain here the last couple of days. But some of the features that exist on the Lance Camper is one that has great towing capacities. Um, basically, you can tow up to 16 to 20,000 pounds depending on what, you, what your truck's capabilities in addition behind your truck camper. So your truck camper is your original toy hauler. So if you have, uh, you know, whether it's quads, um, side-by-sides, um, whatever your activity is, those, those can change and you still have huge towing capacities without reducing your um, basically GVW of the actual truck like other vans and things would have. So inside here we have a propane powered generator, uh, you have two lithium 100 amp batteries inside here as well, full solar on the roof, you also have two electric awnings on both sides um, coming through. You have nice storage going through the center here that pulls out and you can see here this is a remote control to be able to take the camper on and off. Nice thing about this, the truck camper doesn't have an odometer. So therefore, from a depreciation standpoint, that doesn't exist with a truck camper. So you can change out your vehicles, whereas just a little over half your expense is actually the truck and the camper you can maintain for years. Ironically, we have, we've had over six people that have showed up here that have campers that are over 20 years old that are Lance products. So again, let's go inside and take a look. All right, one of the great features about our Lance campers is that we have a queen size bed. It is a true 60 by 80 bed. That's incorporated in all of our truck campers that we build. Um, you have, as you can see here, we have plenty of headroom uh, to sit up on the bed. Some features that are included in here. One is the new Truma. Some things that happen with air conditioners is basically noise. So having the new Truma air in here, it's one of the quietest air conditioners that actually exist. You can see here as I step down, you're gonna have a full sofa. This model is also available with chairs as well. You also have a drop down bunk for additional sleeping or it can be used for long item storage. So if you have fishing poles, long items, you can basically pull the bunk down, access it right through the side here and you're done. You can see there's tons of storage inside of this truck camper. As you pull through, trash cans, lots of storage. This is only a nine foot, even when you get to the side here with pantry, more drawers, more storage. Um, we utilize you know, a lot of um, our space very intelligently um, throughout the product. So if you're looking for something that everything has its place, this model, the 960, which we're in right now, is a very value um, storage capable um, RV. So again, Lance Campers has been in business since 1965. We've been building truck campers. We're one of the original um, Overland type of products. And um, if you're looking for a quality product that'll last you for many, many years, 
uh, please come out and check out Lance Campers at www.lancecamper.com. My name is Gary Conley. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you soon. Hey guys, my name is Jen and I am the office manager and lead contact for Bunda Tech USA. Uh, we design and manufacture custom slide-in truck campers out of Iowa. So this is our Sable model um, designed for the mid-size half-ton truck. Dry weight, you're looking at about 1,400 pounds. So with this unit, um, scissor steps come out the back, so that's an option so you can get in and out when it's on the truck. Also inside under the L-shaped dinette, you have storage for a porta potty, which we use. And then this particular unit is customized with a three burner uh, slide in stove top and then a single sink. All of our units have a north south sleeping area, which is a queen size mattress that gives you storage underneath the bed as well as on each side for hamper storage. We also optimize as much space as we can, putting your fridge up front above your water tank to keep all of that weight at the front of the truck for traveling. Unit also has two batteries inside it. This particular has a solar panel on the roof as well, so it helps keep us out longer period of time when we're out on the trail. Um, and then we've got overhead cabinets, additional storage. This unit is also standard with the Vario heat system, which comes out of the company Truma from Germany. Super quiet, super efficient LP furnace, which is set with a thermostat to make sure that you're comfortable no matter what the temperature is outside. This unit also features our half wing awning, which is a 90 degree awning, covers the side and the back of the camper. This weekend we have a triangle panel as well, just to give us a little bit more extension towards the front, just for some rain, wind, sun, all of that, because it's definitely sunny this morning here in Flagstaff. For more information on us, the products that we build, and how we can help you with your outdoor adventures, you can give us a call, 319-234-0071. You can also visit our website, bundutechusa.com. All of our contact information is there. Myself and any of our staff would be happy to help with any questions and off-road needs you have. Hey, my name is Jay with Dirtbox Overland. We're out of Denver, Colorado, and we're hanging out at Flagstaff 2023, really, already? Wow. Anyway, this is our uh, full-size truck or mid-size canopy tent camper setup. We've got it on our brand new uh, Tundra that we just did our own suspension on and whatnot. The most comfortable highway and light overlanding vehicle that we've had yet, especially once we've gotten the suspension tweaked out, which is nice. But basically on this guy, we've got an aluminum canopy camper. Tons of people have a similar thing to it, but what makes ours a fair bit different Weight is on par. We may be one of the lighter or just exactly the same. So it's about 425 to 435, not including the awning. But that includes the bed, that includes all the lighting, that includes the ladder that's inside it and whatnot. But what makes it different is we do a bunch of extruded aluminum all the way around the perimeter and some extrusions running through, especially the tent portion. And we do a bunch of tubular work that goes inside of our, our doors. The support of the doors is actually kind of a big deal. When you put, we've got L-Track going through here, and when you start putting your gear on there, they get a little flimsy. So this one's a lot stouter than what you would typically see. Even some of the very high-end ones are a little bit twisty, which is not that big of a deal except for sealing. The reason it's called Dirt Box is because we're trying to keep the dirt out of the box. So we have deep seals through here and really thick on that. So you have a double cam over setup to squeeze that down there, and it's adjustable throughout that. So this is just a little deal that could go on the outside you can hang it flips up and goes flat but it's just for storing some of your gear or making a sandwich whatever you like and then when you roll around the back we have got your ladder system that just actually tucks away up in here normally it stays stashed right up here and there's a table that flips down so you've got full use of whatever you want here in order to climb up instead of having to make the leap of faith you just sit there drop it down and the ladder itself is wicked light. Like, honestly, I don't think it weighs more than four pounds. So you've got the ladder. We did a nice curve wrong. We shaped it for your feet. So when you're barefoot in here, which is probably what you will be, it's not hurting your tootsies. The bed itself is pretty slick. It does two things. We can either have it stand up like you typically do, or you flip it up through here, and it could be then pinned up on the ceiling, or you could go ahead and bifold it back and then just keep it out of your way completely, which makes it nice for the dance floor. Heavy fabric. The fabric is very heavy, but not to the point where it adds too much weight to the unit itself. We've got illumination through this guy, through a little control switch that's on the side, which I'll turn on. So we've got illumination here. We have illumination upstairs, and we have controls right up here as well with uh, two USB sockets and a cigarette lighter socket right there as well. This is actually, a flip down table 
So you can stand here and work on your computer or whatnot, and then you've got the large opening out the back with the awning set up or the rain fly. So that hydraulically tips up. And then what we kind of did a little different with this guy versus the others, the Tundra is, is such a great daily driver car. You kind of don't want to have it always loaded down with just your uh, camper setup. So all the controls with our auxiliary lights and everything else on this are controlled through the S-Pod system in here, making it where we have a, a positive negative connection. You quick disconnect, the four brackets, the whole thing lifts off and you're back to dad van again, which makes it really nice on that Tundra. The cool thing, because I'm kind of a vampire when it comes, I'm a night person. So right now I've got the lighting turned on, but through here, you touch each one of these guys and it brings it up to full power. And if it's two in the morning and you're tasting tequila thoroughly, you can sit there, hold it on there, and that'll dim it down to a nice, low, gentle glow to hang out for the rest of the night. So that's kind of a nice plus as well. We've got like a little fabric setup that goes in with a rack deal there. So you can store gear in the front, or we have a hard aluminum case that goes in there. I think for this series truck, keeping it light, keeping it simple is what we chose for this. The other units that are a little more living all the time will have our hard aluminum box in the front. And then on this side, you've got, it's a little more of the same, but storage bags I can hang out through here. You can mount your Jackery. Usually I would, I always suggest like a Jackery 2000 Pro. It fits this nicely and the thing will charge up in two hours. We've got a little 500 in here, which is just running our LED lights and whatnot. Pretty nice there. But an another nice little feature, I'll shut this. You could also rivet on molly panels all the way through. There are molly boxes that go in here that'll set in further so you can put your diesel fired heater, a bigger battery system, EcoFlow, Jackery, whatever, you know, whatever flavor you choose. And then the struts are adjustable in height so you can change the height of this. And if you're somebody who's gonna put a lot of gear on here, we'll go ahead and set you up with a higher uh, tension or higher pressure strut to keep it up. All extrude aluminum throughout this setup and up through here. And then we go into a really nice, this is a five axis CNC machine uh, hinge point right here, which on the nose of it, it actually carries a really slick marker light. So we've got upstairs LED marker lights. We've got them on the front. We have them in the rear. Those are controlled by the S-Pod individually. And we could also have them as uh, flashers, hazards, if you're on the side of the road. We have a third hinge in the center because sometimes what we've seen with people is they'll overstuff too much gear in there, crank down on that thing, and they'll want to try to bulge. So keeping three pivots is pretty important. And we did go a little overkill on the exterior one, but that makes it you know bulletproof for the life of it. Uh, you've got on top of the roof, there's L-Track running full length all the way across. So you can now bolt on any sort of crossbar setup that you'd like uh, for solar panels, for canoe, kayak, whatever type of stuff on there. It just makes it as a nice clean package. We actually, what's interesting is we go with a real small fill space in here. That little bracket doesn't do much. It's a little bit of support, but what we found when we fill that in more is we get more wind noise. So that's designed to let the air kind of flow through and, and keep that all nice through there. And then there's a, a ton of auxiliary lighting that can be mounted on the extruded aluminum. We have some high power amber lights in the nose. Again, that's ran through the S-Pod, which we could run through our phone app. I'm not a big phone app guy, but it is nice to be able to keep those separate on my phone, on my little holder in the car to run that. Then we have auxiliary lighting that's on the Tundra and stays with it all the time. But overall, a nice package. It's under 11 grand without the awning and of course without the Jackery and a few other goodies, but it's a slick deal. And installation and removal, as long as you have the way to lift it off, it is not even five minutes to pull this thing off if you have the capacity to lift it. So if you had a, a hopped up fiberglass top little lift setup on there, you could e easily incorporate that into the lifting eyes that would go on the L-Track and you're good to go. But we've tested this thing, already just got back from the Arctic last month at 46 below. It wasn't this unit, it was the one that was on our Tremor. So we do for the full size trucks as well. 36 below is the sweet spot where the clear plastic on the awning will crack and the struts get too cold. So if you are somebody who's insane and likes to camp at 40 below zero, we know which struts to run and the plastic that we'll choose, which we'll put the plastic across the whole, uh, the whole lineup for that. And then the rain fly unzips, comes off, heavier bars through there. The fabric, like I said, is durable, very heavy, very nice stuff, but uh, not too heavy to cause any major problems with the overall weight. So nice product, Dirtbox Overland, Denver, Colorado. We got the high elevation testing, we got the cold, and we got the heat. It's all there. If you guys are interested for any more information, it's dirtboxoverland.com. 
So again, dirtboxoverland.com or give us a call at 888-986-4664, extension three. You will talk directly to me. I answer all of messages that are left behind and I'll give you all the details you need. So I'm Tommy Milton with AT Overland. We're here at Overland Expo West, in Flagstaff, Arizona. This is our habitat topper on a five foot bed Toyota Tacoma. We've got uh, the solar option installed on this. So the solar panel is deployable once the tent's deployed. When you close the unit, solar panel folds back over so you have power while you're driving to camp. Uh, this truck's also built out with our cabinet system, fridge and stove built into the slide. So uh, inside the habitat, you have sleeping area out here, three inch foam mattress. You also have the option for two bifold panels that'll close off this area above the bed for a secondary sleeping area. You sleep up to four people inside this unit. We also have another panel that drops into the cabinets. So if you have kids or dogs, they could sleep down here elevated on a sleeping pad. The Habitat's one of our legacy toppers. It's the first one that we built. It's all cotton canvas um, tent, fully sealed. It has uh, front and rear windows. The front window opens up fully so you can access your roof rack from inside the tent. Uh, the side doors open for ladder access if you choose to go that route. It's all aluminum exterior construction, honeycomb composite insulated on the side panels and on the sleeping area. So for more information on our products, you can go to atoverland.com. We're located in Prescott, Arizona. All the contact information is on the website. Hi everyone, Arnold Baker with Overland Explorer Vehicles. We're out of Alberta, Canada. We're here at Overland Expo West. I want to show you quickly one of our products. We've got seven different models. We've got our eighth one coming around soon. This one in particular is our Hudson Bay. It comes in two versions. It comes in an eight footer and a 6.75 foot bed replacement. This one you're looking at is a 6.75 foot bed replacement. But it's still an eight foot floor plan from here to the back wall, it's eight feet. If you go with the eight foot bed replacement, it's just a square or a flat back. You don't have the kick out, which gains you more storage. Fully composite builds, inch and a half panels. We're gel coat on both sides of the panel. Going in, we're honeycomb polypropylene and the center core is foam, PET made out of recycled water bottles. The exoskeleton, 6063 aluminum, fully bonded construction with adhesive. In interior furniture, all aluminum, fully bonded in place. Wherever you see a metal fastener is where we're doing metal to metal. Other than that, it's fully bonded. The units are also fully isolated uh, using the torque lift derringer latches, front and back. You got the spring loaded on the, on the back and you got the rubber torsions on the front. But you notice they're also sitting on, the camper sitting on rubber feet. So we want this camper to be able to move. So that's why we bond everything together. So we, we want to maintain that movement and that's why we're using the, uh, the torque lift derringers as well. It's sitting atop our aluminum flatbed tray. We call it the Luma tray, which is also fully isolated from the chassis via urethane isolators. This particular customer has chosen the rear tire carrier, the ladder, and also the molly rack back here. And he's chosen to mount boxes. So the molly panels are designed to surface mount up to 150 pounds. A uh, spare tire carrier is also rated for that as well. The rear kick out back here, if you go with the 6.75 foot, you can also get a molly panel that goes the full width of the camper as well. Or if you don't want to have your spare tire there and you're carrying it underneath in the factory location up to a 35 inch, you can put a molly panel where the spare tire is currently sitting. Then on this side of the camper is where you, you have your uh, exterior shower located right here is your shower port so you can shower inside or outside your water fill lockable of course you can also have your uh, shore power as well inside the interior we got a, a few key features rear dinette folds down into a bed you can also do a gurney bunk above so if you're a family of four you can sleep two adults over the cab in the 60 inch bed which you can also get into a king bed extension if you want to sleep north south you got the gurney bunk in the back as an option and then also the dinette folds down Showering inside is easy. Underneath the, uh, your, your feet in the dinette, there is a shower pan that's quite deep. So you're able to stand in there and uh, shower off. There's also an exterior shower as well. The toilet for this unit 
Uh, we used to house up in the storage cabinet to the right as you enter the camper. Uh, we've now moved it underneath the dinette seat. It's actually on a slide. It slides out from underneath the dinette seat into the doorway. You can either use a cartridge toilet or you can use something like a wrap-on tracker or something like that. Or just a porta potty whatever you want. It come, the slide out comes with the camper. You pick the toilet as an option. 164 liter fridge is standard uh, for 2024. Uh, we'll also offer a 65 liter Dometic uh, compressor fridge uh, for those that want something a little bit smaller. And then you can gain a little bit of some shoe storage underneath it or something like that. Cooktop, dual uh, burner propane. Uh, for 2024, we will be optioning the uh, induction cooktop. Of course, you have the sink. Uh, it, both appliances up there have the fold down uh, glass top. All of our doors and drawer fronts on the interior are uh, uh, plastic material and uh, we use that rather than wood because of uh, environmental differences in temperature and humidity. We have more success with, uh, with a polymer product instead. All the furniture inside here, everything you see is all aluminum, fully bonded into the interior. We want everything to move. Bamboo countertops, bamboo table, LED dimmable lights, multi-speed fans. You can even get this one with the uh, optional raising auto lift roof with uh, actuators. If you'd like more information on this product or any one of our other products, as mentioned before, we got seven different models. An eighth one is coming uh, for 2024, van cutaway on a, a cab chassis van. Please visit our website, overlandex.com, or visit uh, our website if you want to talk to one of our dealers. We've got nine dealers in the USA, two in Canada. Uh, those dealers are all listed on the website. Howdy, I'm Ted with GoFast Campers, and right here we have a V2 GFC platform camper. And let's do a little walk around. So we uh, design and manufacture our campers in Belgrade, Montana, and a super lightweight, super durable camper. Um, as you see as I walk you around here, it's all aluminum extrusion and billet pieces that make up the entire camper. If you want to come in a little closer, if you can see here, you have a full pass-through on the inside of the camper to enter the tent area. With that, we call it a transformer floor. So the floor actually can change into various different uh, positions to run either a bunk mode or a full sleeping mode for two people or something like that. We also use big burly billet mounts to mount our campers. So these are designed to be severely off-roaded and withstand heavy off-road abuse. Our campers weigh less than 275 pounds on average, depending on the truck size, and designed, like I said, to, to seriously off-road your vehicle and have a place to sleep at night. To find out more information, visit us at gofastcampers.com or follow us on Instagram, gfc underscore USA. All right, hi everyone, my name is Reyes Marietta. I'm with uh, Exploring Still Connected, uh, and you can follow our travels there. But uh, I just picked up my new uh, Kingstar Camino 88 this past Monday, and me and my wife Deidre are, ex are excited to be going on the road full time and living out of this uh, starting in August. Um, so follow along, I'll give you a tour of the camper. The first thing that really stands out is the rear storage. Uh, we have this big garage that hangs off the back. A lot of people says it looks like an outhouse, but it's actually this really cool dry storage. So you can put your snowboards or skis in there. And then you have what they call the uh, rack back here where you're going to be able to put your grill storage right here and then we have a generator storage on the side so if you want to follow me around the side you can see uh, we opted for additional side storage that kingstar provides so we went with the 11 foot flatbed build where we have these side saddles for storage uh, we work full-time still we work remotely and storage was extremely important to us so we have these side saddles on the side and then we have this really big garage that we're going to be able to do a full pass through where we can slide our mountain bikes in and out and have that secured storage associated with it so that's uh the standout features for the outside um, we do have exterior lighting uh, dimmable leds on both sides uh, we have a cowboy shower outside as well uh, but i think the cool features are all going to be inside so if you want to follow me inside uh, i give you a tour all right so one of the key features that kingstar offers that actually got us really interested in the company is this dry bath it's a very unique uh, layout um, what we have here is we have a cassette toilet that's on a slider that actually slides out so you could have your cassette toilet here and then everything to the left is now your shower which you could pull the curtain over and you could now have a separate shower and bathroom space so you don't have to pull out your toilet every time move around or try to take a shower while you're 
you know, working around the toilet. So huge feature I really like. And then the next thing that was really important for us and Kingstar actually worked with us to help build this is their new command center floor plan. Um, so the shell is pretty standard. The kitchen is all consistent. The north south layout of the bed is the same, but this unit right here, what we're looking at is what they call the command center. And as we work remote, we're doing nine to five on our computers and we have tons of desk space, which was important to us. So these all slide out. We now have a desk here. If we pull this out, this also is additional desk space. So we can put our laptops here um, and just work right from this space, doing Zoom calls, doing any of our analysis. And then when we want to relax, we can just hang out here, hang out, watch TV. If we want to eat a meal, we have tables that slide out here. Um, so really thoughtful use of space. Additionally to that, as we work remotely, power and being able to work remotely off grid is essential. So we have 800 over 800 uh, amp hours of battery bank, which is stored here. We have 800 watts of solar up top. And then we have two inverters. We have uh, Victron inverters, a 3000 watt inverter that runs the entire camper. And then within this cabinet, we have a 500 watt Victron inverter that is specific for here. We have three different outlets. So when we're just working on our computers, we could plug into this cabinet and run the 500 watt inverter not have to run the 3000 watt inverter and save a little bit of battery. Coming over to the kitchen, um, they have a lot of options. We opted for this gas range. So we have the gas stove and the oven. Um, this is all run on uh, LP. We have two 20 gallon takes of LP outside. We have a nice stainless steel uh, kitchen sink, very tall faucet. Um, and they also include a Keurig, uh, which we have right here that is wrapped in. Um, all of these have these nice uh, locking RV knobs soft closing doors very large and robust fridge freezer combination um, it's not full size obviously but it's not your small rv fridge freezer and then we also have a ac unit here and i think one of the cool features of this it's a side mounted venting so you don't have a big unit on top so it reduces the height of the overall rig and it's actually a pretty quiet unit um, as well. So a lot of people have checked this out and commented on how quiet the AC unit is. Moving past here, um, we do have the north-south layout in the bed. They do have east-west, which goes this way. Uh, both of them offer a queen-size bed. Um, and then you have additional storage on the sides right here, up towards the back. And we have outlets in this drawer up here and then outlets in both side cabinets up front. So if we need to plug in our phone or Nintendo Switch, we have power to do it up there. So one of the reasons we decided to go with Kingstar is because when you walk in here, it doesn't have that marine grade or kind of sterile look. The aesthetics are very pleasing. When I come in here, um, I sit down, I hang out, I feel like I'm in a cabin or I'm at my home. So very comfortable, very welcoming and very warm. As we're going to be living out of it full time, that was really important to us. It may not be important for everyone, but to us, it matters and they knocked it out of the park. So that's the tour of our new Kingstar Camino 88. Uh, if you're interested in more information, you can find that on Kingstar's website um, and that's simply kingstar.com. Uh, additionally, you can follow along on our adventure. You can find us on social media at Exploring Still Connected and we're on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Hey there, I'm Melanie with Four Wheel Campers. I'm at Overland Expo and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our campers. Uh, we make three different types of campers. One is a topper. It's called the Project M. The Pro Project M is really great because it's still a truck and there's lots of space for customizing your build. Um, this one you see here is super customized by the customer. They've added a deck system and they have their own setup in there, which is really, really cool. But you can also keep it simple, use it for work, use it to haul gear. A uh, really great option if you really still need a truck to use. Uh, the next one that we're going to talk about are our slide-in campers. So in any of our campers, we have them for pretty much any type of truck, any size of truck. Um, our slide-ins, they are what it sounds like. They slide into the bed of the truck. And those, you can also get them very simple, like a base model, or you can get them fully featured with a toilet or a shower. Um, we also have a full range of battery, lithium, solar options to help keep things powered up. Our last type of camper are flatbed campers. So for a flatbed camper, you remove the bed of your truck, you add a tray, and then the camper gets attached to that tray. Those are really great because you get the full width of the truck. There's a ton of space, um, all the same great features, big beds, 
refrigerators, water systems. So lots of options, lots of ways to customize it, uh, and a great way to go outside and enjoy what's out there. If you'd like more information, uh, head on over to fourwheelcampers.com. You can build your own camper there, check out all of the specs and pricing, and we hope to see you out on the trail.